Welcome back to Ray's channel. In here, you will find vlogs on lifestyle and food with a luxurious twist. Today, I was invited to Ira Yakitori's soft opening tasting event. It's located at the fourth floor of Century House in Jim Sa Jai, Hong Kong. The decor gives off a dark bar vibe with a large TV that sets the mood. I hope you're as, as excited as I am to explore what they have to offer. The appetizer starts off with deep-fried Japanese glass shrimp and horse mackerel. The glass shrimps have a salty taste to it, and the texture starts off with crispy batter, then goes into a soft but chewy texture as I bite into the shell. The horse mackerel has a salty fish taste to it, very refreshing, and it kind of reminds me of tuna. I tried a sake drink that was recommended to me by the restaurant. I forgot how to pronounce it correctly, but its flavor is very easy to drink and it's very easy to swallow. Sometimes sake can be a bit hard on the throat, but this one isn't. It's very sweet and it gives off a fruity aroma, which is great for people who cannot drink strong stuff like me. Next up is the grilled skate fish, which really reminds me of the flavor of dried squid. It's a bit sweet and tangy, and then you're hit with a feeling of umami and rich ocean taste. The texture is crispy near the side, but it gets a bit softer as you bite into the inside. It is a very good appetizer. The drink that I ordered was the Tropical Sunset. I taste a lot of mango and passion fruit flavors. But because of its artistic presentation, most of the flavor was concentrated at the bottom of the drink. So I do recommend you stir this one before you drink it, so all the flavors are combined. The pork belly was cooked to a just done texture, very juicy, and the salt grill flavor doesn't overpower the texture of the meat at all. Next up is my favorite two dishes of this restaurant, the grilled eel and chicken neck. The skin of the eel was very crispy and it was very easy to eat. Usually, there is a lot of small bones in eel, but there wasn't in this. The eel was very fatty as well, so it's combined well with the crispy texture of the inside. The sauce that was used is a sweet soy sauce, and it tastes different from the typical grilled eel sauce. This pairing I like because the flavors are not too overpowering, so you do taste the freshness and the seawater of the eel, along with the sweet is brought out by the soy sauce. It's my first time eating chicken neck, and I was truly surprisingly meaty. I would have thought that there wouldn't be much meat, but I was wrong. It reminded me a lot of chicken thigh. I like how there was not much seasoning, which made the flour of the meat itself stand out more. The most special dish of this restaurant is to grill minced chicken with cartilage stick. It tastes a lot like sausage, with bits of cartilage inside, so interesting texture is formed. The special part is the sauce, which contains an egg yolk and sweet soy sauce. I poke the yolk with the sausage and then whisk it together with the soy sauce. To finish, I had the sweet potato skewers, a must try if you ask me. It has a vanilla aroma to it and has a mushy soft texture. The skin is grilled to perfection and is bite sized, not too overpowering, and it also finished the view very nicely. I hope you all like my vlog, and please remember to like, subscribe, and share. Stay tuned for more food and luxury vlogs. All the info is listed in. See ya!